Hello, Erin here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about some beautiful books that may or may not make great gifts. I don't know how close this is going up to Christmas, so I don't know if you're actually going to have time to go out and buy any of these, but I thought it would be nice to share some pretty books. Either way, who hates pretty books? So, let's get started. This book I have is a book that I have not cracked the spine of yet, but that I love to look at and that I display very prominently on my short story collection bookshelves. And that is 100 Years of the Best American Short Stories, edited by Lori Moore and Heidi Pitler. Okay, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is a hardbound book, and it has 100 Years of the Best American Short Stories. Underneath the dust jacket, it looks like this, which I like very much. It's got nice metallic stuff on it. And it has short stories from basically everyone who's ever written a short story that you've heard of. Uh, James Baldwin, Flannery O'Connor, John Updike, Juliet Suka, George Saunders, Lauren Groth, Yuno Diaz, Jumbo Lahiri, Alice Monroe, Jamaica Kincaid. Um, really heavy hitters here. So, and again, this is from 1900 to 2000, I believe. Yeah, 1915 to 2015. Look at that. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, this is a gorgeous book, especially for a short story lover in your life. If someone had given me this instead of me giving it to myself, I would have been thrilled because they would have hit in the nail right on the head. Next, I have kind of another big hardback, um, and this is the Everyman's Library edition of His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. So this isn't like a super readable edition of His Dark Materials, as I know from experience. But it's really pretty. So again, hardback metallic accents. I love this cover so much. Um, and I like the Everyman's Classic, kind of the cleanness of their spines. Because when you put a bunch of them on their shelf, on your shelf next to each other, they look very professional and neat. So that's what that looks like. Um, underneath the dust jacket, it's kind of the classic. I'm going to take it all the way off. It's kind of the classic Everyman's Library Red. Again, really classic look here, which I really enjoy. Um, it has a bookmark. For someone who really likes Philip Pullman, I think this would be a great little addition to their collection. Um, speaking of Everman's Library, I am I really think that their books are just really well published, and I really like them. I don't hear a lot of people talking about their books, but I do have these, which would make great gifts. They're also very pretty, um, and these are Everman's Pockets Classics. So they look like that on the spines when they're lined up together, which is gorgeous. Um, and I have three of these. They're collections of short stories from a variety of authors. They're anthologies, basically. Um, but they have a ton of these out in publication, and they are all on different topics. So I have the Christmas stories one. I have the love stories. And I have the New York stories. Um, you can also get things like fishing stories and stories for moms and cat stories and dog stories. And I just think that that's really fun. Um, and a lot of the stories are, you know, by mildly famous classic, classic authors. So in the Christmas stories, we have Dickens, of course. We have Gogol, uh, Anthony Trollope, Tolstoy, Chekhov, Willa Cather, O. Henry, Nabokov. Um, so yeah, really nice little collections. They all have ribbon bookmarks and they are all different colors underneath the spines. So I will show you what that looks like. I just, yeah, again, for people who love short stories and you're not really sure what book to buy them, ooh, excuse me. Um, I just think that these are really nice. See, gorgeous. And the bookmarks match the color of the book. Sorry, my cat ate that one a little bit. Um, but they're really nice, and they just look lovely on your shelves. This is an adorable little book. This is called Brave Enough, and it's by Cheryl Strayed. Um, this is definitely for Cheryl Strayed fans in your life, so people who have read and adored Wild or Tiny Beautiful Things, which is one of my favorite books. Um, and this is just, again, gorgeous. Clearly, I'm really into the metallic thing this year, um, but it's a gorgeous, tiny little hardback. Again, Raven Bookmark. Um, and it's a collection of famous Cheryl Strayed quotes, basically. Um, so it looks like this on the inside and the kind of size of the font is different depending on the quote and it's just really cute um, so if you know anyone who has read and appreciated any Cheryl Strayed I think that this would make a great gift but again this isn't a gift giving guide this is just me talking about pretty books this is a pretty book 
I love little tiny hardbacks like this. I love them. Next I have a couple of children's stories. The first one is not so famous as the last two I'm going to show you, but this is George Saunders, The Very Persistent Gappers of Fripp, um, illustrated by Lane Smith. Uh, for those of you who know me, I'm obsessed with George Saunders short stories. I think that they are some of the most amazing short stories that I have ever put into my brain. Um, and this is a children's story by George Saunders, and it's a little weird, but this book is so beautiful, okay? It's gold. Again, really into the metallic thing this year. I don't know what's up with me. Um, looks like that. And like that. On the inside, when you take off the dust jacket, be prepared to be amazed. It looks like that. Which, like, this color blue and gold is, like, ridiculous. And then the end papers are polka dots. And the illustrations by Lane Smith are absolutely incredible. Um, so this is a really gorgeous book for children and adults alike, for sure. This is one of those children's books that definitely has um, some deep stuff going on in it. And I would expect nothing less of George Saunders, but I love this book as an object and as an actual book. It was a really fun book. Um, next I have two editions of classic children's books. The first one I have I recently talked about because I recently reread it in this edition and that is this edition of Peter Pan which says on the outside lavishly illustrated with interactive elements. Um, and this is illustrated by Mina Lima which is a design company. Um, this is published by Harper Design by the way. Um, and again, really gorgeous. Again, it's gold. I don't, I wasn't planning on that, y'all. There are your end papers. And this is cool because not only is it illustrated, like, really simply and really nicely, but it has these cool interactive elements. So, like, on this page, for each chap, each chapter has one. I'm going to try and show this to you. So, like, this page has a fold-out map of Skull Rock. And let's see if I can find another one. Uh, this one's a clock with the alligator as the hands of the clock. So you can move him around. You get it? It's cute. So for a Peter Pan fan in your life, or just someone who loves beautiful children's books, this is definitely an awesome edition of Peter Pan. I found it really fun. I think it'd be really fun to read this edition as a child too, because not only does it have the illustrations, but also has kind of those fun little bits to break it up. But lastly, I have one of my most beautiful, most treasured books ever because it combines two of my favorite things in the world. And that is this 150th anniversary edition of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll with illustrations by Salvador Dali, who I'm obsessed with. <laughs> um, he's a surrealist painter for those of you who don't know. So as you can see from the cover, these are not your traditional Alice illustrations at all. Um, again, this book is gorgeous. It's a very simple cream underneath, which I like. It's very clean. Um, and these illustrations are insane. At some point, Dolly was commissioned to do a series of drawings for Alice, and they're not very well known from what I understand, but holy moly. So this combines all of the surrealism of Lewis Carroll with all of the surrealism of Salvador Dolly, and I'm just, I could just look at these pictures forever. Um, and again, just a really beautifully published book. Um, the title pages are very nice paper quality is very nice. So for Alice fans in your life who may not have this one, I highly recommend it. It's really, really pretty. Those are some pretty books that you may or may not want to buy for your loved ones this holiday season. If you want to tell me about some of your favorite pretty books, I would be very happy to hear about them and or buy them for myself. <laughs> I hope you're having a very lovely day. Happy Vlogmas. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.